Everyone remembers their first blow laptop, and most have fond memories of the day they touch their first clam shell of tech. But my story is a bit different, because this $2,000 69-pound monster is arguably the worst laptop ever made. And it had so many issues, it's directly responsible for why I became a computer technician in the first place. This is an HP DV9000, and it suffered from 9,000 problems. But back in 2008, it was HP's pride and joy. However, these HPs were victims of the same defective GPU solder that plagued the PS3s, Xboxes, and your mother's vibrate print Dell XPS, resulting in a near 100% failure rate. And back then, I didn't have the self-anointed title of the greatest technician that's ever lived. So I couldn't repair this infamously unrepairable issue on my own laptop. But now I can. First, I need to see if it even turns on. Just plug in my $5 eBay charger and- <laughs> After respawn, the laptop boots randomly, so I changed the RAM and CMOS battery to no avail, which means this NVIDIA chip that connects the RAM and CPU is probably f***ed thanks to that bad solder. So after 6 hours, 400 screws, and a conjugal visit from your mother, we can finally see why this happens. HP tried to cool this massive CPU using a tiny, foil-covered heatsink, and the NVIDIA PCH was cooled by a pad of Brazilian butt filler. This resulted in extreme temperatures that would speed up the cracking and bumping of the bad solder. Taking a heat gun to this chip would sometimes result in a temporary fix since re balling it just wasn't worth the labor. Anyways, after trying everything in my long form video on YouTube, I start blasting this chip with hot air straight from my head, before carefully reassembling this nightmare of cables and screws, making sure to not have any leftover components, because this moment means a lot to me. I finally fix the unfixable. Just kidding, it's f***ed. 